Hello and welcome to SAP Learning Academy and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be telling you about few concepts or few options that you can apply in the system SAP BWL for HANA if your ADS row or if your table is having large number of data or if your table is crossing 2 billion records then you should definitely use this option. And the first option is the database partitioning, then I will talk about semantic partitioning, then data tiering and housekeeping and DTO. These are the five things that you should know, you should learn so that you can improve the performance of the radio so you can improve the performance of the reporting as well. So the first one is the database partitioning. Uh, generally the partitionings are two types, uh, hash partitioning and range partitioning. And hash partitionings are the default partitioning. When you create an ADSO, then hash partitioning will be created by default. But the range partitioning that I'm talking about here, the that you can define in the system. If your table is crossing two billion records, then you should uh, you should uh, distribute or you can divide the table so that your reporting can be faster. And in the HANA Studio, if you go to the HANA Studio in the setting tab for the ADSO. You can find the partitioning option and there you can define the range partitioning and range partitioning can be two types one is the static and the other one is dynamic in the static you can uh, define the range manually and in the dynamic it takes automatically from the system and second one is the semantic partitioning and what is the semantic partitioning in sap video for hana uh, it is uh, kind of a uh, first we should talk about the semantic group semantic group uh, is a kind of a template uh, where you have put multiple adioses for different region because uh, because instead of having one adioso with many or large number of data you should divide the adiosos into different time zone or you know different uh, regions so that and, and obviously those ADSOs should have similar structure. So you should put all the ADSOs together in a group that we call semantic group. And that semantic group will work as a template and you can create a composite model for reporting. So, the, so what happens, suppose uh, you want to access data for a particular region, so, so the reporting will be faster. And on the other hand, the error handling is better. Meaning that if one particular uh, region is having some issue in the data, so so the only that region will be impacted, or only that ADSO will, will be impacted in the reporting. But other ADSO source or other region data will be still available in the reporting. That's the importance of semantic partitioning. Now coming to the data tiering or archiving, if your system is large or data volume is more. Then you should definitely archive the data, archive the old data. And here we have still two options, NLS IQ and DTO. DTO is the new concept in SAP BW for HANA. And uh, when you are creating a new ADSO, you should definitely go with DTO. Here you should uh, define this uh, temperature. And NLS IQ is the old concept that is still there. And if you are already uh, have this uh, system defined in this IQ and then you have migrated into SAP BWL for HANA then it is still available. Now the next option is the housekeeping. Housekeeping meaning that uh, the example like change log. Suppose the change log if you don't need the data to be reversed then you should definitely delete the data. And now last one is the DTO data distribution optimizer. DTO is a concept uh, by which you can actually uh, distribute data into various nodes in a system so that your uh, all the nodes will have a uh, I mean better performance in terms of data distribution. Anyway, these all topics I have explained briefly. Uh, maybe in the coming tutorial I will uh, go further into these topics. And also please comment below if you want to know any of the topics in more detail that will be good for me. So thank you for watching and also please look into the other links I have given in the below uh, description. Thank you for watching.